Hello everyone, welcome to the Whistling Hermits One Card Spread series. Note that this video is divided into three parts. A short introduction, which we are doing right now. Part 1, which is a descriptive study of the card for the day. And Part 2, which is a reading from the Handbook of the Tarot of A.E. Waite from AGM Urania. If you want to navigate directly to any of the three parts mentioned, just click on their respective links at the timestamp provided in the description of this video. This video series is primarily intended for learning how to read the tarot. However, you can also use this as a card reading for the day. This is a timeless reading, so if you are watching this now, its message might be for you. In this series, we will be using the Giant Rider Weight Tarot Deck. We will also be using the Handbook of the Tarot of A.E. Waite from AGM Urania. The first part of the video will be a descriptive study of a specific card in the tarot. We will describe what we see and the insights and feelings we gather from what we see. Now, the first part is characterized by spontaneity. We allow the cards to speak to us regardless of the generally accepted meaning of the card. By doing this, we hope to increase our intuitive capacity for reading the tarot cards. In the second part, we will be reading the description of the card taken from the booklet of the Tarot of A.E. Weight by A.G.M. Urania. If you intend to use this as a timeless reading, you can randomly choose any card in the series that resonates with you. An alternative approach is to shuffle a rider weight tarot deck and pick a card randomly. You can then choose the card in the video series that corresponds to the card you picked. Note that this series is a work in progress and it might take some time for the 78 cards to be completely read. So, without any further delay, let us proceed to the card for the day. So we are now in part one of our one card spread series and our card for today is the Eight of Swords. Like the Major Arcana card number seven and number eight, which uh, is the Chariot and card number seven is the Chariot and card number eight is the Strength card. Both of them, as I have uh, shared in the previous video, both of them uh, are cards that show our, how we respond to ex to our situation in life. You know? The same also with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Uh, both of them is uh, shows how we respond to the ex situations in our life. Like for example here, when you look at card number seven or the Seven of Swords, you know, this is a person who is able to avoid uh, conflict by being wise, anticipating ahead of time that if you remove the swords or the capacity of the of the other side to fight against you, you remove their weapon, you disarm them ahead of time. You can disarm them through kind way in a kind way. You know? If you are able to have this ability to disarm people, then you are able to avoid conflict. Now. This one also is sort of like a conflict also. Uh, when you look at it, no, uh, the sword often refers to intellectual, something related to the intellect, something related to communication, being able to express yourself. No, And when you look at it here in the situation, you see a woman that is loosely tied, but she feels that the tie, it's a, uh, she is bound. No? But the, the binding is loose. She's not able to do it on her own. You cannot tie yourself like this because her arms are really bound. So it is somebody else who have put that into you. You have been bound by somebody or a group of people maybe. You have been bounded, no? And, and uh, you, because you are also bounded, no? 
this could also have been done by other people you are unable to see the situation well people have bound you or in a certain you are in a certain situation right now where you feel like you cannot move because of your external environment people are limiting your capacity to move and they are also limiting your capacity to see things and at the same time now when you look at these swords they symbolize like uh, people talking at your back people hurting you through the way they treat you externally but when you look at it they are just around you and somehow the incapacity is more of an internal one no? the feminine uh, energy has more of the receptive the less aggressive part of us and we are more in the receptive state and so sometimes related also to the inner part so the turmoil or the incapacity to move incapacity to see things clearly and feel feeling the danger of getting hurt you know these are all ex interior interior things interior uh, things that are happening interiorly there is an interior fear an interior incapacity to accomplish an interior capacity not to see things clearly and always that inner fear of being harmed by the sorts around us by the opinion of other people or the situations that people are creating around us we lose this inner strength that the eight card which is the strength card no we lose the strength that we have that comes from within we tend to forget that within us is the capacity to overcome whatever obstacles that we are encountering and when you look at it also this lady is situated in a wasteland where there is water and everything now they ostracized her from the city this is the city they threw her out from the city and then now she is here and they even put swords to guard so that she cannot move no uh, she won't be able to move although she can move because she tied it it's as if she has been mocked by by the society and post pushed out of, of the society and they put swords in there and maybe they even laughed at her and they tie her up and they put this like that and they consider maybe they were considering her as crazy because of her ideas and everything like that so if you are reading this card and you look at it the sky is gray instead of yellow like here if you're looking you if you are watching this video right now it could be that you are in a situation where, right now when you feel you are ostracized by a certain group of people maybe in the working situation or in your family or in your social situation where people do not understand you and they tend to ostracize you push you out of their circle and then they mock you they talk bad things about you maybe they do gossips against you and then and, and they make you feel they do things to make your life difficult they limit your capacity to be able to move uh, they do things without you knowing about it they do things uh, behind your back and you are not able to see your situation clearly if you feel that you are in a helpless state as this woman is always remember this is this bind you can get out of that bind and when you're able to get out of that bind you can remove this one and when you are able to remove you will be able to see the the, the cover in your eyes so all you have to do is to have the, the courage to tell yourself this too will pass and this situation will not harm me this situation will not harm you just move a little and sooner or later you will loosen it find the strength within as this lady has she is in touch with her inner self in touch with the divine sometimes we handle problems on our own we forget that there is also the divine sometimes when you have a problem all you have to do is to sit down be in a receptive state and tell the divine or god or the source tell them 
Lord, I have a problem right now. Can you solve it for me? And then you let go of it and you forget about it. Oftentimes the divine will take care of the situation. And suddenly this bind or this bound, or this, this binding that you have right now will be loosened. And this covering to your eyes will be removed and you will be able to see things clearly. And you realize, oh, these swords, even if they are around me, they are not completely around me. There is a space in between. And actually, there is a space in front wherein I can just walk out of this. Yes, they can be harmful, but they're not really that strong. I mean, I can walk out of it. And the bond that is, is loose, I can get out of this bond. And then you can remove this thing and you can be able to see things clearly. And you realize, I mean, if they do not like you, no problem. The land is too big. There is water in it. If you walk a little bit more, there might be something more beautiful, like this lush land. No? There is a certain beauty. I mean, if they ostracize you, uh, there is a big land around you. You can still find a new tribe. You can find, uh, you can be more creative. In fact, you can even be like a hermit. You can enjoy life and live life to be full. Get in touch with your inner self, get in touch with the divine and be productive and be happy. And you don't need other people to fill up your cup and you are able to run away from this. You come to be a point and you are able to say to the world, like this person who has strength, world, you have to accept me for who I am. If you don't, if you cannot accept me for who I am, then let me be. I am going to live my life to the full and I'm going to be in touch with creation and I do not, I'm not affected too much anymore by your opinions. I will not be bounded by your customs and your your rules and regulations and everything. I'm listening to the heart, to my heart. I am listening to the divine, and I know that deep inside of me, what I am doing is in line with the will of the divine, the will of the source. You, when you get in touch with the divine, you know that you have a divine purpose in your presence in this life. And when you start following that divine purpose, then everything changes. This one is a person who is influenced by her external environment. This is a person influenced by her inner environment. It's proactivity. It's being in a, in a situation where it is raining, but you are wearing an umbrella. This is the person that is wearing the umbrella. You can loosen yourself, you can get out of this situation. You need to find strength from within. Don't be too affected by the swords around you, the people who are making your life difficult. Find the strength within, get in touch with him and have a bigger relationship with the divine. Let the divine and the universe and the game, your angels, archangels, your guides and your ancestors take care of the problem. You do not have to handle your problem alone. Always be aware you are not alone. You need to be aware of that when the problem becomes too unbearable. And trust it to the divine and trust it to the universe and forget about it. Loose, remove these bands from you. Remove this, this covering into your eyes and walk out, in, walk out of those swords and go to a place where you are loved, where you are aware of your inner worth. When you are aware of your inner worth and you are loving yourself, and you don't care anymore about the opinion of other people and you just learn to love yourself and you are in touch always with the divine then this situation will pass all situations are temporary this too will pass you need to get more in touch with yourself appreciate more the beauty inside of you and don't mind the opinion of your of the people around you you are 
loved by the divine you are a special person you have a special song to sing into the world you have a special gift that only you can give to the world now discover that part of you get inside of you discover that part of you don't mind all these things just work on yourself get in touch with the divine and live a happy life walk out of this situation the land is big you will be able to find a land where you can be happy and you can flourish it's like uh, you need to undergo transformation this is a situation before the transformation you are in a terrible situation and then you realize why am i allowing myself to remain in this situation then you start to realize i can walk away from this situation so you walk away from this situation and when you walk away from this situation then wonderful things start to happen let go of those things that are limiting you let go of those things that are giving you fear giving you anguish walk away and open a new chapter in your life don't allow yourself to suffer transformation is part part of transformation is letting go of things that are no longer helping you things that are limiting you things that are keeping you from being able to live a beautiful life where you are you have this self-love you have this good self-esteem and you are in good relationship with the divine and your environment is happy and cheerful go out of this this toxic situation find your tribe your tribe or a group find those people who appreciate you and would love you and would allow you to grow the wilderness is big go out loosen yourself and trust everything to god to the divine and trust everything let them solve it for you and you get out of it you tell yourself this is enough i do not deserve this environment i deserve a better environment and walk away with courage well that's it for now let's go to part two okay welcome to our one card spread series part two and our card for today is the eight of swords let us now read from the booklet of the tarot of ae weight from hgm urania eight of swords in the eight of wands and the eight of cups we saw hints of a breakthrough here we see what looks like the opposite a literal bondage that implies helplessness confusion ignorance in the two the woman chooses her blindfold her blindfold for if she wanted she could set down the swords and take it off but you can't tie yourself up like this woman someone else has to do it behind her we see a gray castle symbol maybe of the power of the old world that tries to stop the new from emerging but look the ropes do not go around her legs and the swords do not block her way and there is no one there from the castle what stops her is the blindfold confusion and fear as with the two there is another possibility maybe our intellects cannot see a clear path maybe all we can do is move forward blindly trusting our instinct divinatory meanings ignorance confusion possibly imposed by others move forward one step at a time 
warning, and advice. Seeing things clearly. First step towards liberation. Action. A movement when you cannot see beyond your immediate limitations. Small steps. Well, that concludes our part two of the one card spread series on the eight of swords. I hope this has been very fruitful to both who are reading this for the card of the day and for those who are trying to learn more about the tarot. Until next time, thank you.